This is The Legend of Spyro the Eternal Knight. People have been hyping this one up for me. I'm really excited to play it. Another Legend of Spyro game. Let's get started here. Um, uh, we'll do easy difficulty. Spyro the Purple Dragon had followed the evil dragon Cinder to the Plane of Convexity. In a climactic battle, Spyro defeated Cinder, only to discover that she had been acting involuntarily under the control of the Dark Master, and was in fact a small dragon who looked very much like Spyro in all but color. Oh my god, this is very slow text scroll. <laughs> I have to watch it though, or read it. This is like the, this is an image from the console version, I think. I think I actually would have liked to use art instead in this one too. After narrowly escaping the destruction of Convexity with Cinder, Spyro returned to the Dragon Temple to meet with Ignitus, his mentor. Ignite should reveal that Cinder was, in fact, from the same clutch of eggs as Spyro, which he already did in the last game, <laughs> making them siblings. The Dark Master had... Okay, that, make, that makes things a little weird. <laughs> the Dark Master had corrupted Cinder as a small dragon, speaking to her of evil and power and turning her to his service. Yeah, that's a little weird, because in Dawn of the Dragon, there's kind of a... Like a, a this thing with Spyro and Cinder. <laughs> it was later that same night... Spyro's powers faded in the wake of his battle with Cinder. Of course they have. And he rests to try to recover. The Dark Master's plans with Cinder were foiled. But he has other servants and other plans. And Spyro has been dreaming a dark voice in his head. S -s -s Spyro. The heck? We got a cinematic here. Well, this looks a little nicer. This is Spyro. What is it? It's Cinder. She's gone. Where? Come on. We have to find her. It's dangerous for her to be outside the temple at night. It's dangerous for all of us to be outside the temple at night. Hey, I just said you have to wait for your powers to return. No time to argue. Come on. Once a hero, always a hero, huh? Well, be my guest. Sleep on out. Save the world. But you're flying solo this time, pal. Old Sparks is going to catch two more Z's. See it yourself. Uh, you'd be helpless without me. I better come with you. Ooh. Ooh, we got some nicer sound clips in this game. Come on, Spyro, hop on up. It's A to jump. Of course, we gotta go through tutorial again. It's not that. Oh, I see text. Oops. I can't double jump in this game, it seems. Look at that shiny thing. Ooh, it's so pretty. Dragon relics and the wisdom of ancient dragons have all aspired and unlock new abilities. Oh, is this like, uh... Hey, can I grab it? Oh, there's double jump, okay. Okay, similar controls. Oh, another one. Glide, okay. Being a bit more creative with how you get the abilities in this game, it seems. Use the wings your mama gave you, Spyro. Okay, but who is Spyro's mama, though? What do we think? Let's go, Spyro. Cinder went down this way. You never see any female dragons in this world, besides Cinder. Hold down on the pad, press A on some platforms to drop through them. Careful, you're dropping down there, Spyro. There might be something harmful. I'll go check it out for you first if you want. Up or down. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. That's inventive, I guess. On the top of the corner, increase your health meter. When the health meter is to empty, Spiral will be defeated, and you'll have to restart the level. Oh, great. It's one of those games. Additional meters will be added as Spiral gains new abilities. Oh. Something about a dragon relic? Actually, I skip text. What is that frog we doing here? Wait, you don't think 
Then that previous fungus ate the dragon relic. You've got to get get it back, Spyro. His melee attack must be. Air launch attack. Press up on the pad. Okay. Good job, Spyro. It's not that I'm scared or anything. I would have helped. It. It's just that Spyro. Spyro, you feeling okay, buddy? The frick? Mysterious voice. Welcome, Spyro, to the Hall of Fang and Claw. Here, young dragons honed their combat skills in ages past. Okay. <laughs> Here's the training dummy to practice what you've learned. If you manage to hit it five times before it recovers, you'll be rewarded. If you're tired of training, leave the room and you'll awaken. You will have other opportunities to come and practice here in the future. Skill in combat grows. Come and claim your reward. Another one. Improve your melee combo, but now you provide additional sequential attack on the ground. Okay. You must hit the train doing ten times in a row in order to open this door and claim the reward beyond. If it does not seem possible to do this now, seek this room out again once you have gained more skill and abilities. Probably not possible right now. Very odd. Spyro, you're back. You had me worried there for a sec. I thought I'd lost you. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just some weird vision thing. Let's go find Cinder. Yes, the, tr the tutorial was a weird vision thing. <laughs> hey, Spyro, look, it's a bunch of those crystal things. Yeah, I could definitely use a bit of a lift right about now. Let's go get them. Crystal clusters are like these are made of different colored gems. Spyro can be absorbed to replenish his energy or gain the experience of ancient dragons. Break the cluster and release the gems by attacking would be red health gems. Okay, it's actually explained what the gems do. Blue spirit gems can be spent on improve Spyro's elemental powers once he awakens them. Oh, spoilers. That's health. I don't see any way through here. Better go another way and come back here later. Huh. Interesting. Top right corner screen is a combinator spire battles as enemies using clever varied combinations of attacks. Combinator will light up. If you defeat an enemy with a gem meter is blue, you'll gain that many additional spirit gems as a reward. Very lengthy combinations are key. incentivize combat then a little more in this game the last game we could just jump over enemies it didn't really matter the charge attack left or right twice charging enemies you can also hold left or right for a second wall jump oh we can wall jump at this game Thank you. 
with that. I can't, apparently can't get that right now. There's somewhere else I can go. I'm supposed to go back. Something here to do. floor doesn't look too stable. Maybe if you could somehow smash it down, we can go on through. Oh, another one. Yep. Air dive. Press during a jump, press down. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's the same thing as the other one. Really liking this so far. A lot of cool abilities. Oh, that looks pretty far down, man. I'd just jump over there if I were you. You don't swim too good, if I were Spyro. I'd steer clear of the water, too. are decent right now. Oh, hi. What are you doing out here, Cinder? It's dangerous. I'm leaving, Spyro. I can't explain it. It's like I'm being pulled away. I have to go. What are you talking about? A distant place is calling to me. Something's demanding that I come. Okay, right. Places that call. Voices in an old noodle. Mysterious creatures demanding to do their bidding. I think it's called being possessed. I guess I'm almost certain possession is the word we're looking for. Uh-oh. Speaking of possessed, hello, Spyro? Anybody home? Snap out of it, big guy. Come back to old Sparksy. No, oh, not again. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, hello. Mysterious figure. Enter into the Temple of Fire, Purple Dragon, if you dare to confront and waken the fire within yourself. Okay. I need fire to open that. Oh, hello. I 
find it. <clears throat> Fiery dedication has proven you worthy. I shall awaken the element of fire within you. Okay. Power of fire will burn your enemies to a crisp. Additionally, the power of fire can use to burn flammable objects and obstacles out of your path. Huh. These crystal clusters will now drop green energy gems or replenish your spent energy. That actually gives a lot more value to the different elements. I like that. Okay, yeah, so it seems like A New Beginning had all of these concepts but didn't explore them enough. This game seems to be exploring them pretty well, actually. The game kind of incentivizes the combat now because of the gems. collected for each element. Do like the pause menu abilities? Huh. Oh, wait, what? Huh. Oh, can you turn off your abilities? What? Why would you ever want to do that? <laughs> circles now.
I haven't been this way, I don't think. Final challenge. Defeat this avatar of the element, the mastery shall be called yours. Okay. figure. With the mastery of those elements comes great rewards. Look, Spyro, I will show you a vision. The enemy gathers his strength. The master's return is near Gaul. This is the Temple of the Dragon Soul, Spyro. Here you may revisit any of the elemental temples you previously explored, as well as the Hall of Fang Claw and the Hall of Memory. Use your time here wisely to prepare yourself for the battles you face outside. Okay. That's the fire one. Oh no, this is the fire one. What is it? Oh, this one. In this direction, you will leave this temple and return to your waking life. If you wish to continue exploring the temple, turn around and do so. You may not have a chance for returning for a time. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> My health is the same as it was when I left the fire temple, though. Oh, and Cinder's gone. Don't tell me. La La Land again? Yeah, just forget it. Where's Cinder? Well, while you were ca catatonic, she hightailed it out of here. She said something about heading into a place where some well is full of darkness or something. We have to find her. Let's go see if Ignice has any idea about this well. It seems like it takes a lot of experience. See anything? No, I can't see where Cinder's gone, just darkness. Let me look. Now this again. Figure. Look, the chosen answer to the call of evil. What do you see, Spyro? A distant mountain, a well at its center, evil beasts. These are dire portents, and to complicate things, it will soon be the night of eternal darkness. What's that? It's when the moons of Adrano and Zella come together in an eclipse, and its time draws nigh. If nigh means soon, I'm out of here. 
Hold on, Sparks. Spire, you must journey through the ancient grove to the Celestial Temple, where you will find the Chronicler. Who's that? Dragon of immeasurable wisdom. He will be able to shed light on these signs. But be careful, these are dangerous times. What will you do? I will go in search of Cinder. Because of her past, I fear she might all be drawn towards the swell also. Great. We got lost dragons, eternal darkness, strange visions, evil beasts. Sounds like a lot of fun. Don't worry. We'll all meet again soon. Yeah, if we live. Oh, and then we're, like, actually moving here. Explain to me why we're here again. This is the fastest way to the Chronicler. Yeah, but what's the safest? Come on. Oh, these guys again. They're a lot bigger now. Dude. He's not getting hit by my attacks. So I assume we'll probably get the other elements at some point too. It might be quite a bit longer, actually. I didn't think about that. We'll go for a few hours, and if I'm not done by then, that's fine. Oh, hello. Oh, maximum health to increase. Awesome. He's not Naga, but Scab will make a fighter out of him just the same. Naga, Scab, who are they? Not to mention these jokers. You hear that? Oh, great. Not now, Spyro. I need you, pal. I came from over here. Go see what it is. Don't worry, buddy. I got your back. Wow, this is like such convenient timing. Hey, you scurvy-eating bloodsuckers. Boy, I've seen some mangy carcasses in my day, but you guys gotta take the cake. Get him! A true purple dragon must master all the elements if he is to survive. Let's see if you can embrace the sacred legacy of the Earth. Okay, this is giving me my abilities pretty fast. Like I said, you might not be able to come back for some time, but like... And I'm already back here. Oh, that must be the Earth Sigil or something. That makes sense. Dang. 
wonder if people beat this game in like 26 minutes. <laughs> Getting there. I'm curious what the level up does. two out of this guy because you have to do it a certain way. Already here, alright. Spyro, your dedication has proven you worthy. I shall awaken the element of Earth within you. Our Earth will stream along ground causing rocks to erupt upward, knocking enemies into the air. Power Earth can be destroyed rock walls and similar obstacles. Okay, switch with L, that's nice. That's actually like super nice for the last game. Probably use it for these guys too. It looked like Earth to me, I don't know why. Yeah, that must be a different element. I think the green one is Earth. Yeah. There's a secret in the Fire Temple that had the Earth sigil. Fly in my face, jeez. Oh, hello.
Max health increase. Nice. supposed to go in here. I feel like we've already been here. Where am I supposed to go here? <laughs> Here, I think in most cases you end up going upright, but I'm not really sure. I don't know. This was just the, the power up, right? The health upgrade? Yeah, this is just the health upgrade. These guys keep respawning. But I could upgrade one of these now. Dude, it takes so much to just upgrade one of them. Yeah, this didn't take me anywhere. This is just a crystal. Yeah. Okay, maybe this way? Energy increase. Okay, maybe it's the other way here. Oh. I hit four gems there. Actually, give some more to Earth than. Oh, 
Hey, there's nothing down here either. What do I even do here? Supposed to be like a boss, right? Probably. I feel like I'm just grinding for like power up elements here. be down here. There's nothing down here though. Oh, wait, maybe here? This could be it. Aha! Found it. This is your final challenge to beat this avatar of the element master from called your site. Hitting select to switch the the breath, but it's not how it works in this game. Is it actually put it on a good button in this game? Is every move. Look. Do I need to remind you that the Night of Eternal Darkness approaches and that the purple dragon is the only real threat to our plans? No, sir. Well, I guess you locate him now. Do not fail me. Yes, sir. I could make it, you know? Your little nap almost got us captured by those pirate scavenger thingies. Sorry. How long was I out? Long enough for old Sparksy to give him the slip. Yep, that's me, the hero, the man of the hour, the big big stuff, the doctor of savitude. And now, let's go. I think Dawn of the Dragon got a DS port. I might have to play that at some point. It's going fine. I just started again today, so. Pretty, I played uh, some decent games today so far. Alright, let's see. 
Wait, that again. to accept any stinkers yeah in the past I have uh, two games ago was Sonic Genesis which was quite awful <laughs> that was one of the worst games I've ever played made air charge attack well the air up is left or right twice oh interesting I see Sonic Genesis, yes. They ported Sonic Gen the Genesis version of Sonic the Hedgehog to GBA. And it is awful. <laughs> I gave it a 1 out of 10. <laughs> That's how bad it was. Yeah, the video isn't up on YouTube yet, but it will be soon, hopefully. And then you can see how laggy it was. <laughs> yeah, the screen is tiny, the game lags like hell. And I honestly just didn't even like the level design. I was like, how did this spawn a franchise? Oh, well, the worst game, just in terms of quality, is Pause and Claws Pet Resort. That one is on YouTube, but you can see how awful that game is. That's just the worst game period <laughs> that I've played so far. And then there's been some other ones that have been pretty bad. Most games are pretty okay on GBA. Some of them are annoying. Pause and Claws Pet Resort, it's a pet sim. <laughs> and it's quite awful. Yeah, I haven't done GBA Journey in like over a month, so this is like the first GBA Journey I'm doing since like um, September, not September, uh, whatever the month is before August, July. The first one the games I've been playing since July, because I kind of got distracted by speedruns and stuff. Oh, he got knocked all the way down here. Only a few games in that. Oh, nice! Are you, like, keeping track anywhere? I'd love to bookmark the page. I, I like seeing... A, there's a few other people um, who are also doing the same challenge. I, I bookmarked all their pages to see how their progress is going. Yeah, keep, keep with it, man. It's fun. Yeah, he's pretty far in, but he's also very busy. He has a full-time job and everything, so he's been taking a break. The thing is, like, he st when he stopped, he was at sort of mana or something, and he was in the middle of it, so I don't know what he's planning to do when he comes back. Because I feel like if I had to start in the middle of an RPG, I would be very sad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's, like, so far in. Unless he stops for good, like, I don't think anyone's gonna catch him. Right, that makes five of us now, then. Well, there's one person. Yeah. Alright. What are we- oh, oh! Ability! We gotta go get that. Hello, Cedramatron! How are you doing? Hope you're well today. I'm liking this game so far. You hyped it up well. Is this gonna make it? No. Where is that thing? Wrecked. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, this looks like the right way. Frick you. Melee damage. Oh, nice. Let's go. Yeah, I played a new beginning right before this. Uh, it took me an hour and 48 minutes. Died on the final fight like three times before I figured out what I was supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a very hard game and it was kind of boring. But this seems to be like an advanced version of it, which is really nice. Yeah, New Beginning wasn't bad. This is uh, honest, like this also has difficulty options, so it's not bad so far either. But it's fun, as well as being not too hard. Yeah. Music's good too. Like the music in A and B was like the sound font kind of hurt my ears, but the music in this game is pretty good. I think that my favorite part about A New Beginning was the artwork. The artwork was really fantastic, honestly. I really appreciated that a lot. Even more difficulty options. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've seen the leaderboard. There's like at least four because that's how many like difficulty options there are on the leaderboard. I know that. Oh, hello. Monkey levels? I don't know yet. It does have monkeys in it. I think I'm getting pretty good at the combat. No, 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 that's Season of Flame, I think. It's either Season of Flame or Attack of the Rhinox you're thinking of. You improved your melee combo ability, you can perform an additional sequence attack. Oh, nice. Okay, cool, awesome. I'm liking these ability things. Oh, you know, he bites things. Yeah, those are the Agent Eye missions. You're probably thinking of Attack of the Rhinox, I would imagine. That's the one I speedrun. Season of Flame. Yeah, I speeded in that one too. <laughs> yeah, but I do not like Agent 9 missions in either one, though. They're both pretty annoying. There's the experience. I, I just noticed the experience in the middle there. <laughs> I was like, how do I know how much experience I have? Look at the thing in the middle. Is the audio balance okay, by the way? As I asked earlier, no one said anything, so I assumed it was fine, but I'm always self-conscious about my audio, because I've had a few games I've had a few games where I like messed up the audio and I feel bad about it and I kind of want to record them. <laughs> Audio's good? Alright, cool. Good balance and everything, I assume. Yeah, there's two games in particular that I had a slide attack press down. Oh, nice. You're invincible or rolling. Cool. Yeah, I had two games. I think it was Avatar The Last Airbender and Season of Flame, actually, where my audio balance was really bad. And I felt bad about it. 
Audio dick. Audio dicking. Ducking. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but maybe I should look into it. I have like a gigantic scratch on my monitor, so I couldn't really read what that said. <laughs> What did it say? It said down on slopes? So like Mario style? What's this about? You're about to fall asleep again? Look at this! A giant cape perfectly sized for a giant beast. Like that Naga, the thing that scra the scavengers are talking about. We got to warn him. Warn him? Don't you mean flee with all haste while their attention is distracted? Volumes came out of you down when you're speaking, raise it up when you're not. Oh, that's cool. I gotta figure out how to do that. Oh, no. Apparently you mean warn him. Oh, great. Hey Spyro, yeah. I don't see anyone here. Anyone alive anyhow. Maybe Naga's code for a giant pile of bones? Let's leave Naga alone and get out of here. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at I'll look up. Oh, what the frick? Oh hi. <laughs> Uh-oh, this guy doesn't look friendly. Maybe you were right, Sparks. Hey, you better fight well now, Spyro. I can't read. You better fight well now, Spyro. Something just when you finally realize I've been right all along. Oh boy. Oh, he's shielded. I think I'm doing damage to the shield, though. Appreciate it. I'll look it up after the stream. That wasn't so bad. Well, Spyro, that wasn't too tough. Uh oh. We're surrounded. What the? And we're trapped. And he fell asleep again. <laughs> Shiver me tempers and blow me down. That's the ugliest pyre I've ever seen. <laughs> well, it looks like Naga is gone, but a purple dragon is even better. Take him back to the ship. This one will make a fine addition to Captain Scamp's collection of fighting beasts. Oh boy. Swing low, oh, swing low, sweet chariot, coming. Why does he know an African American spiritual? <laughs> ah, it is great to hear you in such good spirits to make you for some mighty fine battles. Where are we? Am I already being held prisoner? You are on Captain Scav's airship, Felmuth. Felmuth, and you're being helped to compete in the arena fights. Entertainment for we scavengers. Entertainment? I always wanted to be the show but this is ridiculous. Quiet, and you, dragon, get ready to fight. Okay. I know how to fight. <laughs> don't bother trying to escape. The only exit leads into the arena. Why don't we just blow a hole in the ship? Oh, hi. I like how they want to watch me fight, but they're also attacking me. Uh, let me just do 
this. I hardly have anything. Oh wait. Plays out differently. Like the story is completely different. I've only ever watched the cutscenes on the console version. Never actually played it. Like I said, the only console uh, Legend of Spire game I played is Dawn of the Dragon. And I only played probably like 20 minutes of that. How long do you think this is going to take me to beat? Improve your air combo ability. Alright, cool. Like, how long is it just for, like, a casual playthrough, you think? I might two-part it if it's pretty long. So I saw the speedrun's, like, freaking super short, but... Rushing. I'd like to get to the end of the game relatively quickly. I'm about halfway already? Dang. That's crazy. Yeah, New Beginning was kind of just point A, point B. This one seems a little more... Kind of look around for secrets to improve your abilities or whatever. Held captive in a cell in an airship, forced to fight exotic creatures, and a bunch of crazed fans to watch all the fun. I can't wait to see what's next. I'm also reading all the text, too, so... <laughs> The main event of the year brings you Spire of the Purple Dragon versus the denizens of the forest below. Wow, that's really interesting. My boy was all over you. He blows like a dragonfly, stings like a bee. Mr. Ugly can't hit when Mr. Ugly can't see. Fire is the biggest, the baddest. And he fell asleep. <laughs> uh, sleeping is dragging around? You know, this is getting really old. I think that was a typo. I think it's supposed to say sleepiest. That was ice now. The path to your further awakening beckons. Come, we train in the Temple of Ice. Very inconvenient. <laughs> Ooh, I like this music. Huh. Interesting. Okay, that's water. Let's not go down there. <laughs> Just knock him in the water instead. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't think I was supposed to go that way. Do you know if Dawn of the Dragon for DS is any good cd Romatron? Have you ever played it? Because I might be interested in playing that as well. If it's as good as this game. If it's not, maybe not, but... <laughs> I, I gotta play the console versions at some point. So I know they were released for like the Wii, so I can get them on the Wii. Is that all PlayStation 2? Oh, this is very slippery. Oh, really? I guess Dawn of the Dragon was a little too late for GBA then. This seems like it would be a late GBA game. This is pretty advanced in the sprite work and everything. And the abilities and all that. To pits, cool, good to know. <laughs> Last five, dang. <clears throat> I should actually like figure out like exact like order of release date and have a list of that. Spyro, your dedication has proven you worthy. I shall awaken the element of ice within you. Epic. I wonder if there's a list anywhere, just all the GBA games that order by release date. Power of Ice will chill and slow your enemies, making them easy prey. Additionally, the Power of Ice can be used to freeze the surface of water. Oh, nice. Dude, I love how the abilities actually have more uses in this game. There's A and B, it was like they're all exactly the same. <laughs> that was my big issues with it. Like, I literally chose Electricity Breath and used it for the entire run <laughs> of the game. So there's, there was water around here somewhere, I think. Jerk move. Uh. Running out of green energy. Too, holy frick.
Oh god, I have low health and I have to fight this guy. That was so scary. <laughs> Alright, we're in there. Took this and learn. Muffled words, informants. Felmuth, purple dragon. So the purple dragon is aboard Felmuth, huh? Okay. Then summon the elite guard, hire the most dangerous beasts in the realm. I'll call all reserves. We will intercept Felmuth and destroy the purple dragon once and for all. Move now. The night of eternal darkness approaches. One more thing, sir. What is it? The female heeded the call, just as you said she would. Where is she? She approaches now. Good. All the evil beings are coming home to roost. Now go, destroy the dragon yourself if you must. Maybe I can do more stuff in the training now. like an eight combo. <laughs> How did I do that? About time you came around, big guy. What happened? You passed out again. We got a guy here, Sparks. So you can argue for me, but how? I don't know, but each man over here, the night of eternal darkness gets closer. We have to find the chronicler so he can tell us what to do. Our next fight will be against the dreaded Malaforian Snail Rider. Isn't Malafor the name of the big bad guy in the series? Okay. Select when they're Oh, there's a select button. <sighs> so far, you've done very well. Spyro ain't playing, but another magnificent beast has also performed admirably. Who knows? You might even recognize him. But before that, you might. Have one, but you have one more battle to survive. Your next fight is against the dreaded right-hand man to Captain Scab himself, the scurviest pirate no demand, Red Hand Jack. Used to be the worst part of, of relics until someone found an infinite combo. 
anything. How necessary do you think the combo relics are to finishing the game? <laughs> so I kind of don't want to do those. Or maybe not. Looks like you're providing a what do you call yourself. My name doesn't matter. Whatever you call me on Spyro's doom. I'm going to kill this guy in two hits, aren't I? Uh, Spyro, this guy seems a bit different from the other Jokers right now. I'd be extra careful this time. I'm always Am Sparks. Yeah, he's different because he has a health bar. <laughs> I'm so funny. Obviously. Like a ninja or something, he's throwing shurikens. <sighs> okay, I underestimated you. Fear not, we will meet again, Purple Dragon. And he is a ninja. <laughs> what the frick? Creatures of Falmouth and all goblins, scavengers, pirates, beggars, gamblers, and criminals gathered here in the most famous fighting tournament in all the realms. This is their main event, matching Spyro the Dripper Dragon and his once and all time mentor, Ignitus. What? <laughs> Ignitus, how'd you get here? I'm not as spry as I once was. I was surprised by Scab and his men while searching for Cinder. Same thing happened to us in the ancient grove. We must get out of here and find the Chronicler. But how? We need a miracle. I'll go back and distract them. You follow your destiny and complete your quest. Roar! Ignitus! Spyro, run! Find the Chronicler! I guess the fury meter is the one around the element. That's what it seems like. Okay. 
It's different from the hovers and the other ones. I really can't go down there. I feel like this game would be even cooler if it had, like, um, the Metroidvania-style world building. Obviously, this is fine, but, like, all these abilities, it kind of reminds me of, like, Hollow Knight a little bit. It could have been even better. Oh. But I like this version. Maybe it could be like brought to life in like a ROM hack or something. At some point. Oh, hello. No one, nobody leaves Salmoth until I say so. No one tells me what I can own or can't do. You're a one-armed, scurry-ridden maniac. Oh, he has a shield. Oh, he has electricity, apparently. Killed his own bird. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. Figured it out. Don't worry. We got this. Okay. Gotta wait for him to shoot again. Not like that. How is that missing? We gotta get to the Chronicler. Alright, I guess, but Ignite said to stay on the ground so we don't draw attention to ourselves. Yeah, but that's a bit far down, isn't it? We got a wing short reason, pub. Let's go! 
Okay. Uh-oh, your timing could be worse, but I can't think of how. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sparks the comic relief, man. Oh, he fell asleep. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Learn well the power of lightning, and you might be ready to face the enemy that draws near. Alright, fourth element. Oh, more epic music, man. I'm, I'm down for this epic music. This guy is being annoying. Your dedication for me worthy. Yep, yep, we got it. Lightning. stairs over here. Oh, hi. Oh, it restored all my health. I didn't even realize that. I wonder if the two games were made by the same people on GBA. It seems like they got similar ideas, but maybe there's learned in the first game. Didn't even go this way. Is, oh, I haven't played Crash of the Titans yet, but that is super interesting. Because Truck Super Slime does not match up to this at all.
Maybe they learned some. I think I'm, I'm sure Shrek Super Sun was a much earlier GBA game than this. Probably not fair to compare. So many gems. So I experienced with the lightning if I wanted to. Increase, I'd guess. Oh no, another maximum energy increase. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit. <laughs> Don't go in there. Also a pit. No, I wanted to go up. Oh wait, I can hover, right? Ah, oh, come on, this has gotta be possible. No. 
Oh, that takes away health. Oh god. Okay, maybe not that way. I didn't realize what the detriment of falling was before. This just next goes up here. I thought the combos were going to be a lot harder to figure out. I'm glad they aren't too difficult. This are mazes. Can't always find the exit. Super quickly. This is a dead end. I thought it was. Maybe not. I guess not. <laughs> oh, it's shielded. Cycle this, I guess. Alright, I had like that much. Interesting. In the well of souls, friends appear as enemies, enemies as friends. Beware of all. Let her pass, Cinder and I are old friends. Thank goodness you're alive. It's bad news around here. We have to get as far away from this place as possible. Come, Spyro, it is time. We're not going anywhere, Sparks. This place looks familiar, and I've been feeling the Chronicler's inside. Inside? That dark, scary place where dozens of who-knows-what kind of monsters are waiting to kill us? 
Fine, ignore me. Listen to your voices. Follow your heart. Risk life and limb. God, I hate the ceiling. Oh, this is just a relic. Stronger defense against non-physical attacks. Oh, that's nice. That would have been helpful in the lightning one. How do I survive? How do I get out of here now? <laughs> Game. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking die. Store, dude. the wall. Oh no, he broke it for me it seems. And we're building some health back up, that's good. Oh, it's this guy again. That's far enough, Spyro. You again? Yes, but have no fear. This shall be our last meeting. Oh, wow, that's lean. Seriously? Arc? That's it? No panning threat? No quip? No nothing? What a disappointment. You'd think someone dressed in blue pajamas would be better at a dramatic exit. But no! I think I can get enough commentary from you. I can do it without one mouthy enemy. Come on, Sparks, let's go find the Chronicler. Hopefully it'll be more dramatically satisfying than this guy. Yeah, increase my maximum energy, sure. Wait.
Okay, I'm getting sick of these guys. You guys are really tough. The enemies actually get stronger in this game, which is pretty cool. Looks like the exit. So, maybe I go down first. Okay. Uh, well, whatever's down here would be worth it. Nothing down there. <laughs> been here before. When I went into those trances, this is where I came. Okay. Welcome, Spyro. Or should I say welcome back? That voice. It's the voice I've heard in each of my trances. The teacher. The taskmaster. The chronicler. There he is. You are the chronicler? Yes. Yes. And I have much to tell you, especially about Gaul and the dark master and you. We're all ears, big guy. Let it fly. I'm sure you've had some other visions, heard other voices in your mind. Oh, sometimes I see a, well, a giant ape creature. And a giant ape creature. That is Gaul, the Dark Master's servant. And you and he share a history, though you may not know it. What history? Exposition? <laughs> Gaul was the beast that let, let the raid on the grotto. And Ignitus saved Spyro's egg? And he took Cinder. Yes, he corrupted Cinder, and now he's waiting for the night of eternal darkness so that he can help the Dark Master return. 
Yes, but lately I've been seeing other things, like Cinder approaching the Well of Souls. After all we did for her? You cannot blame Cinder. Anybody that's been touched by the Dark Master's poison, as she has, is drawn to the well as the eclipse draws near. Few can resist its powers, not even a purple dragon. What do you mean? I mean that a purple dragon from a previous generation fell to its temptations. Long ago, the Dark Master was born a purple dragon. What? Yes, he was lured by the evil pouring through the Well of Souls. He forgot that a purple dragon must be selfless, using his powers for all. The Dark Master turned back turn his back on that legacy, and his powers now feed only his own power and ego. He must be stopped. Yes, but Spyro, you are not ready to face the temptation and evil at the well now. It would be a death trap. But we don't know what's happened to Ignitus, and the other guardians have gone to Doxantha. Okay, when was that ever brought up? <laughs> it's up to us. Perhaps you're right, but you must be very careful. The evil in the well of souls always appeals to one's pride and vanity. Don't worry, we'll return. Let's go. What? Head towards some evil mountain in a crazy well? Run face first into the most diabolical force in the universe? Tempt fate again and again and again? Yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> Sparks is great, man. Well of night. I think we're approaching the end game here. There's no more elements that to put me to sleep for, so... Oh, there he is again. You again? Yes, it's time to finish you off once and for all. That was good. Much better. Very ominous. Doesn't matter, because Spyro's gonna kick your butt anyhow, but that was a good dramatic effort. Good dramatic... what? You're not making any sense. He never does. Come on, if you're going to try and stop me, let's do this. Just immediate boss fight, of course. That apparently explodes. I wonder if the Furies work on bosses. I don't even know how to use them in this game. It was LR in the last one. on bosses? <laughs> I doubt it. No, I'm sorry, Lord Gaul, I have failed you. He done. Now that was dramatic. I think I'm gonna miss that guy. Whoever he was. The moon's almost in eclipse. Hurry, we have to rescue Cinder, defeat Gaul, and prevent the Dark Master from being reborn. Oh, you can use it in bosses. Okay, cool. I haven't used it yet, so... <laughs> More of a buff in this than an attack. I see. Oh boy. In just a few moments, the night of eternal darkness will begin, ushering the Dark Master back into the realms. You are right, Spark. She's betrayed us, and herself. Too bad you won't be alive to see it. Don't be stupid, Cinder. The Dark Master will not be stopped. Perhaps not, but you will. I've waited a long time for this. Now it's time for revenge. Oh, she's gonna kill him? Or try to? Yeah, she hasn't been through the same journey that I have, so she doesn't have the abilities that I have. Sparks, let's go see if Cinder's okay. She's behind you. <laughs> I'll take care of her. Oh, Sparks, go see. 
I see, I see. Looks like my advisor wasn't up to the task of destroying you, dragon. But you know what they say. If you want something done right, do it yourself, which is why I'm here to destroy you. Haven't I already fought him? I feel like I've already fought him. Okay, this does not seem like the final form. Oh, maybe I should have saved that. I probably should have saved that. <laughs> Go ahead, Welpling, finish me off. This is easy. I play all the games that have difficulty options and the easiest difficulty unless I decide otherwise. Ha ha ha, that's what I thought. You don't have it in you. Hey, you skip. Spyro, look out with the moons! Uh-oh. Oh no. I think I remember the cutscenes. I watched like all the cutscenes when I was a kid. Because I thought this was like the greatest series ever or something. Oh, he's evil now. Spyro, are you okay, buddy? Out of my way, bug. I have apes to kill. Oh, this is what the dark difficulty is, isn't it? It just plays this version of Spyro. They go down pretty quick. They're not even dropping experience. doing anything? Spyro, stop! Oh, I have to play Cinder. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's Spyro we have to worry about. No argument here. He looks a little, uh, off. Spyro, it's me, Cinder. You must fight the powers here. Don't be corrupted as I once was. Yeah, buddy, the Chronicles of the Dark Master fell prey to the evil here. Don't let it happen to you. Oh. I guess all it takes talking to talking to him. <laughs> well, what's going on? What happened? You destroyed Gaul and the rest of his army. What have I done? It's okay, Spyro. You're among friends. I'm sorry. I couldn't stop. Uh oh. It's no good. We're trapped. What? We can't be. We beat up the bad guy and saved the world. We can't be trapped. What about a heroic, heroic homecoming? Shh, Sparks, let me concentrate. I'm going to see if I can contact the Chronicler. There he is. Chronicler, what should I do? Gaul is dead, but we're trapped here. I don't know what to do. Please, it might be better if we if I didn't survive. But help me save my friends. They don't deserve this. Right out the storm spiral and live to fight another day. I'm getting Emperor Strikes Back vibes. Ride up the storm? What does that mean? How am I supposed to... Oh, I know what I have to do. Get close to me now. Right, this is how Eternal Night ends. Young Draco, when you wake up, it will be a different world. A world where cruelty and greed will stand to test the hearts of many, and you shall be their guiding light. Their strength and their hope now lie within you. But know this, you will not be alone in this fight. You have allies. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is, that's a really good game. That's a really good game. 8.5 to 9 for me for this one. That's a really, really good game. 
and like I'm so interested. Like I I, I know the story actually is I, again I, I watched all the cutscenes and stuff when I was a kid because I really wanted to play these games. I never I just never got to. The story is really good. I really like the story a lot. And there's Hunter in the background. Yes, yeah, so I I've played the beginning of Dawn of the Dragon and I've watched all the cutscenes, so I know what happens, but. If I ever get a chance to play Dawn of the Dragon DS, I think I'll complete the trilogy at some point. I think it'll be really fun to do. And then I also want to play the console versions. It's like, these games are really good. I really like these a lot. Really happy I got to play them. I wish it were longer, honestly. I really wish the game were long. I think if you took your time and actually went for 100%, it'd actually be a really amazing game too. But you don't have to do that, obviously, so. But yeah, this is like, on its own, like, really, really good game. And like, it makes it better to have played a New Beginning before it, because New Beginning is just like the dumbed down version of this. And then they just went completely ham on this game. And it's just really good because of that. Like, playing a new beginning makes it better, even. I'm almost tempted to give this a 9, actually. I I, th I think I kind of want to give this a 9. But like, is it on the same level? Yeah, I think, it, honestly, it's kind of on the same level as Kingdom Hearts for me. Just, they're completely different games, but I try to think of, like, games that are that are of the same rating and try and compare them. So Kingdom Hearts got a 9, Monopoly got a 9 because of the way it played and the way it was uh, designed. What else got a 9? Something else got a nine. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, like I think, yeah, I think this deserves a nine. This I think this is the best GBA Spiral game, honestly. I think the other ones are really good on their own, but this one just has so much depth to it, and I really like that. And the story's really good too. It's either a nine or an eight point five. I can't decide. I have to look at my rating system. I haven't rated games in forever, so. I have to look at my rating system. <sighs> this is amazing music, music too. I can't believe this is the same people who made Shrek Super Slam. Is it, it, it is. It's Amaze Entertainment. I remember that. I guess they also have Sierra Entertainment. Oh, I unlocked hard mode, apparently. But if you get hard mode, you unlock dark mode. Anyway, that was Ledger Spyro Eternal Night. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.